Good evening. Thanks so much for joining us tonight. I'm Brendan Clark. Good evening, everyone. We are glad you're watching. I'm Carolyn Murray. Concerns regarding a house bill introduced last year have resurfaced. It has to do with short term rentals in South Carolina, and now the Senate has introduced a bill in coordination with the House's version. News to Sophia Radebaugh joins us live from the Isle of Palms. And Sophia, you spoke with leaders earlier today about this. Hey, Brennan and Carolyn. Yes, the bill that's in the Senate in the House right now would prohibit individual municipalities from controlling their own short term rentals. Now, the mayor of Isla Palms and the mayor of Mount Pleasant say they don't think this is a good idea. Regulating short term rentals have been a back and forth fight on the Isle of Palms and other beaches in the low country. Referendum last fall that was defeated. Folly Beach just went through it. Edisto Beach is taking up the calls right now. Historically, it's been something local government controls, but state government is trying to get their hands on it. South Carolina House Bill 3253 and Senate Bill 953 would prohibit all municipalities from making an ordinance, resolution, or regulation that restricts short term rentals and would penalize those that do so. But Isla Palms Mayor Philip Pounds says that's a dangerous game to play. All of our communities are different, different sizes, different makeups, and we're certainly different than Sumter or Aiken or Columbia or wherever. So it doesn't, you know, to me to have Columbia dictate what's going to go on around the state for short term rentals makes no sense whatsoever. An IOP's neighbor, Mount Pleasant, is on the same page. I think if they take this away, from towns to regulate, not eliminate, but regulate short term rentals, there'll probably be a legal challenge to that, and we would certainly support that. Mayor Will Haney says they allow 400 short term rentals right now, which he says is the perfect amount for the town and believed an unlimited amount would disrupt the community feel. I think you would see, especially the older parts of Mount Pleasant that don't have covenants and restrictions against them, be bought up and become many hospitality districts, and that's not a livable community. Mayor Pound says they're determined to fight this. Tonight, they're planning to pass a resolution to oppose the bills. We have lobbyists that we've had for the last two years. We have engaged them on this topic specifically, exchanged some notes with them this morning around it, that we would get them this resolution, uh, you know, tonight or first thing in the morning so that they can, on our behalf, you know, be beating the bushes, if you will, in Columbia to let people know where at least this mun municipality stands. Now, Mayor Pounds and Mayor Haney are very much working together in this fight. Mayor Haney says he's willing to go to Columbia with Mayor Pounds if he needs to to fight back on this. For now, live on Isla Palms, Sophia Radebaugh, Count on Two. Sophia, thank you.